they just broke it down. So in this example, I have 1 over 4x cubed plus 1 over 5x. And what they determined, I really like how they showed their work. They said the GCF is 20x cubed. So go ahead, let's talk. I'm listening to your question. Yes, it's not what they equal to. The, GC, uh, the greatest common factor, or they say they're the greatest common factor, I call it the, it's not really the greatest, it's the least common, uh, least common multiple. It's not the greatest common factor, it's the least common multiple. I didn't catch that. Um, or the least common denominator. But what we're saying is, what is the smallest number that 4x cubed and 5x divide into? All right. Now, we know that 4 and 5 both divide into 20, right? And that is the smallest number that 4 and 5 both divide into, right? Because 4 divides into 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, right? And 5, you can list the multiples of 5. Well, the smallest number they both divide into is 20. But now let's look at what is the smallest number that x and x cubed both divide into. Now, x cubed, or, or we can't say it's x because x cubed doesn't divide into x, right? But x cubed and x both divide into x cubed. Because remember remember the rules of exponents. When you divide into, you subtract the powers. Um, so what they did is they multiplied this one by 5 over 5. But it shouldn't have been 5 over Oh, they multiplied this one by 5 over 5. And this one shouldn't have been 4 cubed. It should have been 4, four 5 over 5 in this one. But it should have been 4 x squared. Because if you multiply by 4x squared, 5x times 4x squared is 20x cubed, right? Does everybody see that? So you've got to multiply 4 times 5 is 20. x times x squared is x cubed. <coughs> if I multiply by 5 over 5 here, which they did, I get 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times 4 is 20. So they did that one right. Correct. Good. Um, so therefore, let's see, do we get the same ones? All right, so they got 5 over 20x cubed, good. And this should be 4x squared over 20x cubed. You add them up. Now again, these, I don't, yeah, so they didn't have their exponent here. So um, now, can you add 5 plus 4x squared? No, those aren't like terms. So my final answer would be 4x squared plus 5 divided by my common denominator, which is 20x cubed. That would be your final answer. All right.